And so Cursor 2.0 introduced parallel agents and it solves this problem beautifully. It's the easiest way to give the same prompt to multiple agents and have them work in parallel and then compare their work and decide which one is best. So for this demo, I am in Cursor 2.0, I'm in agent mode, and we're gonna be building out a, a simple weather app. I have prepared a prompt. I'm gonna pop that in here. Now, when we're building something that's like a medium to large size build, I do like to start uh, with a plan, you know, uh, spec-driven development. The whole value of that is to make sure that the agents and our plan are in full alignment. We're gonna start with just one, one single agent creating a plan, and then we'll get into spinning up three agents to build out the plan. And so now here is where we're going to spin up multiple agents to build the same thing. So as you can see, I have three models checked here. We have one for Composer 1. We'll use Sonnet 4.5. That's really my go-to in general. And then in the third agent, we'll try GPT-5 Codex. Every single agent is going to have a slightly different result, a, a different take on this prompt. That's the nature of large language models. Uh, but they all will be working off of the same plan, and we're going to start them off all at the same time, and we're going to see how they work uh, side by side. Composer 1 is is already actually finished, and Sonnet 4.5 is still a zero of three to-dos. Looks like Codex is sort of asking for permission to proceed. Cursor 2.0 makes it simple. Multiple agents working simultaneously on different branches, all managed through a clean interface. Okay, so uh, let's see how we did. Let's go into editor mode here. Let's start with Sonnet 4.5. This is what it came up with. This is now working. Although I must say I'm not as happy with the overall design. It has that very typical sort of vibe coded, you know, big rounded corners, <laughs> lots of drop shadows kind of kind of vibe. Let's see uh, how we did with uh, GPT-5 Codex. Okay, so this is actually working. This is my actual temperature and weather at my current location. I actually really like the design. It's nice and clean. The middle agent, Composer 1. So here, let's apply that. This is the version from Composer 1, which is... Very nice, I like it, uh, a lot lighter. You know, just as an example, my next step might be to add like a dark mode. So let's please automatically support both light mode and dark mode and include a toggle switch at the top for the user to switch between them. I'm just having so much fun watching the Composer 1 agent work. I mean, just look at how fast it is actually implementing these changes. It's unbelievable to me. Okay, so we have our little uh, switcher up there. Nice, we've got dark mode and light mode. That works. Now, running parallel agents multiplies your costs, of course. I use it for more complex, critical builds where the productivity gain justifies the costs. So I really do think that this Cursor 2.0 update represents a real turning point in how we build.